Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Got a beautiful day going on here. Charged batteries, the whole bit. It's about 3 o'clock uh, in the 50s. Makes me very happy. Um, don't mind the Christmas music. That's one of those um, motion detector Christmas ornaments that keeps going off. Anyway, we are back on the 2400EX. And what I'm doing is a leak back test on it. To do a leak back test, you have to find top dead center. And the way you do that is you take that cap off, and you take that cap off, and then I spin it until both um, valves are closed. And then if you look in here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. There's a set of marks that you have to line up. I don't know, could you guys see that? Anyway, let's assume you could see it. And you gotta line up those marks. You see the little divot on top, and there's a little divot on the uh, on the flywheel, and you just line them up, and all is good. So, so once you do that, you're at top dead center, and what you should do is then notice that. Hopefully it's in the shade now, and it'll stop talking. Um, and once you do that, you should find that these guys are loose. In this case, I have four of them. And, guys, I don't want anybody to think that I'm anti-Christmas, but sometimes things have to get quieter. All right, there you go. So anyway, you make sure those are loose. And then you put air to it, and now my battery light's on, of course. And when you put air to it, you check that gauge, and it creeped up just a little bit. But when you put air to it, that's my leak back. And considering that I, um, that she still doesn't have oil in it, um, it's not warm or anything like that or freshly greased. That's not too bad. It's coming in at about 50%. And you guys can see it's in the moderate. This is the Harbor Freight kit that I'm using. It's easy enough to use before you, you just kind of tune that to set. And then you put it on and you get a reading and you're happy or not happy with it. So I'm happy the valves are closing, but even with that, I think they're just a little tight. I got just a, a little a hair of play on it. I think each and every one of them is a little tight for my liking. Well, it is the box that came in. Seems to work good. It's helped me find a few problems, so I do recommend it. And once again, this little trick here with the magnet and roping it down so that it doesn't turn as you put air to it is a good thing. Um, what I'm going to do is just loosen these up a tad more. And then um, I'm going to put the caps back on. I'm going to put oil in it and give it a shot. So that'll be the next video. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.